everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about my experience in Korea, what I did there, um, what I got there, all the stuff, it's all behind me here. And I will also be answering some questions that you guys have asked me on Instagram. But before I get into the video, get to subscribe to my channel, click the bell to get notified every time I post a new video, and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And let's get on to the video! First off, I went to Korea last year, June of last year. Um, I went for three weeks, which was quite a big deal for me because I had never been away from home for more than like two days and certainly not flying to the other side of the world to without anyone flying for the first time alone not the first time because I've flown before but I was <clears throat> I was very very nervous at the beginning especially before I even went there like when the date got closer of me leaving my home you know, my safety thing I don't know how to call it because I have anxiety and a lot of people already know it and I talk about it on my blog so you can read that if you all want to know more about that and I was very scared to get like a panic attack at the airport or in Korea or in the airplane or whatever so I was mostly scared of that also don't like flying I'm afraid of heights I, I hate the feeling of flying I don't know why and this was a flight of like 11 hours almost 11 hours because I took a direct flight I didn't have like a layover somewhere else because I was already really stressed that I had to go fly and go to the other side of the world and all that stuff so I wanted to make it a little easier on myself and get a direct flight so I went from Amsterdam airport to Incheon airport in Seoul not in, not in Seoul I don't know why I said that <laughs> um, everything went really well I was extremely nervous when I was uh, at the airport in Amsterdam because the airport itself is already very big and then uh, my parents and my sister dropped me off I had to say goodbye to uh, our bird and dog my dog is in the next room uh, that morning I cried because I had to leave my dog behind and I hate that part That's, I hate that part the most and then uh, at the airport I, um, I checked in my luggage I had to do it all by myself and I didn't understand the thing I was like can someone please help me? <laughs> and my parents and my sister couldn't walk with me to do that. So they had to stand back and let me do it all on my own. And I was like, what am I doing? What did I do? Why did I decide to go to Korea? I don't, I, I don't know what I was thinking. But I have always had like... I've always said that I wanted to travel the world and travel places and see different countries and different cities and all that stuff and I was finally doing it and I was scared shitless <laughs> I was so so scared and then I finally got my luggage checked in everything was alright it was the exact uh, weight the exact maximum weight that it could be <laughs> Oops, and then I walked back to my parents and my sister. We went to get something to drink. Uh, I went to get a, a change of money because I had obviously. Um, whoa! Wow! I obviously had to get Korean money, and um, I did that at the airport. And then uh, it was time for me to go to security and passport check and. When I had to leave, like walk by myself through the airport, that's when it hit me. Like, I'm actually going. What am I doing? Why did I decide to do this? What am I gonna do? And then I just started 
my head just started spinning with all these thoughts and I was like, stop it. Get a grip of yourself and just go, just do it. Because you, you've you wanted this for like a whole year already, just do it. And um, everyone at the airport was very nice and very helpful and they obviously saw that I was nervous. But they were super sweet and everything went really well and then I was in the... Um, I was on the plane, I was sat next to two Korean women who didn't speak English and I didn't speak Korean, I still don't speak that much Korean. Don't get me wrong, I'm learning but it's very hard. <laughs> um, but they tried to help me with whatever as best as they could in their broken English as they say it. because. I don't know, I slept the whole flight because I had a night flight. I, I left at like 9.30 p.m. I think. And I I left at 8.30 p.m. the standard time of Amsterdam in summer, which is plus two, I believe. And I arrived at 3 p.m., something like that. I don't know the exact times anymore, but... Uh, so yeah, I was in the air the whole night, so I slept. I, I can sleep everywhere, so luckily that's not a problem for me at all. And then <laughs> I remember right before we were going to, not right before, just like an hour before we were uh, going to descend and get down and stuff, we had to fill in this paper of... I don't know what it's called in English, like stuff, if you had uh, more than this amount of money, more than this amount of products, stuff like that, you had to fill that in. And I was so confused, like I speak English, I'm pretty fluent, I'm not completely fluent, but I'm pretty fluent in English, but I was so lost, I had no idea what I had to fill in, I was like... That were the nerves. That's why I didn't know <laughs> anything to fill in. But I eventually it all worked out. I filled it in. I got off the plane. I have I had no idea where I had to go. So I followed the whole crowd. And then at one point the crowd split in two because uh, some people had a layover to I think the other airport in Korea. I think that was it, but I'm not sure. And I had to go with the rest. So I. And luckily I saw the signs up on the wall, so I went and um, with that one group and just got to... Uh, where did I go? I went to passport check first. Yes. I was in line and I was like... I'm so nervous. I was like, where am I? I was so... Um, I was so dazed that I didn't really know what was going on if that makes sense i went there and the people behind the desk usually look very like very grumpy and like are we gonna get you but they're all pretty nice i guess and they all spoke english which was a plus and uh yeah i had to show my passport i had to get they had to get my fingerprints and i had to take a picture of my face that was all good and then I could walk through and I had to get my suitcase and with some suitcase there was like a thing on it I'm not sure what it was but if that was on it you had to go to get it checked because you couldn't leave with the thing on I had, luckily didn't have that so I could walk right through and then I got to the this really big hall like the arrival hall and I was like okay I have to calm down now. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life right now. And I I just went to the to the bathroom, just tried to get myself to calm down a little bit and then I was texting my host mom because I I went to a host family for three weeks and I was like, okay, I'm going to take the bus. I had no idea where it was, so I went to ask someone, and they were like, oh, you have to go downstairs to the right, and there you can buy a ticket, and they tell you 
with diamond leaves and what, where you have to go and stuff like that. So I did that and I texted uh, my host mom like, yeah, I'll arrive at this time at the bus station. I don't know the time anymore. Um, okay, so when I was in the, on the bus, I had to... I had to go by bus and it took like an hour to get to the right bus uh, station where I had to get off and the family picked me up to go to their house and I fell asleep on the bus which is a big no-no for me because I'm always super scared to I don't know to fall asleep miss a stop and all that I don't I'm not really sure but I was extremely tired just from the flight itself already and then also uh, jet lag that came with me like I I I was out <laughs> I fell in a very deep sleep I was so so tired but luckily I woke up on time and got off on the right stop and then I met the family for the first time they're extremely sweet and I was extremely lucky with them and I don't know, they're just amazing, they're very nice, they speak English and they help help me with, like, they carried my, my suitcase, my backpack for me, which was so, so kind of them, I'm so grateful that I got to spend three weeks at their house. Um, went there and while walking to uh, their house, I still know the way. I won't forget that. I don't think I can ever forget that. I walk there like every day <laughs> for three weeks, so I, I'm I won't forget the way to the to the subway station, to the school, to everything. I'm. That's like imprinted on my brain. Um, but we walked uh, past a convenience store because I had to get a a T money card, which is. Uh, something that you use to travel with uh, like when how do you call it you use that to travel by uh, subway or by bus or by train and stuff like that and I got this one it's a very very simple one and just says pop in English um, it's a pop card it says but it's the money card <laughs> and you can buy these things almost at any convenience store in Korea, which is very, very helpful. You really do need one if you uh, travel by subway every day, <laughs> like me. And I arrived at their house slash apartment, it's a really big apartment. And I was there, we went over the, like, the house rules and stuff like that. And I was allowed to unpack my things for a bit before dinner because I hadn't had dinner and then they ordered fried chicken it's so heavenly fried chicken I miss it so much it's so good and I got to meet uh, the other person that was staying there uh, her name is Dasha she's from Russia hi Dasha if you're watching um, she was already there for a week and I uh, was going to be there for two more weeks and then the week after that I was going to be there alone. That still makes sense with how I'm explaining everything. Um, she was very nice, she was pretty quiet at times, but once you were alone, alone with her she could be very fun, really loud and I love her, she's, she's great, she's really nice. And uh, I went to sleep like at 8pm, I was super tired, but then I woke up at 12 uh, like midnight and then I couldn't sleep anymore. I was awake for the whole night <laughs> and I was talking to my mom that night because for them it was really early still so she was still awake and then she told me about my dog uh, and I just cried. I was so homesick that night. It was actually the only night I was really really homesick like I want to go home but I, because after that like the day after I, uh, I was woken up for breakfast. I had a really big breakfast that I couldn't finish because I was still not used to the time difference. And Dasha uh, showed me the way to school. Um, I had to like walk 10 to 15 minutes to the subway and then 
take the subway which took 35 minutes and then walk 5 minutes. So it's not that bad and it went by pretty fast. Um, it was extremely busy in the subway on the subway and I was I was so confused I was like why is it this busy I knew it was going to be crowded and stuff but not that crowded and like you're standing like this and you can't move like you move around with the movements of everyone and the subway itself but you're just, you're just standing there like great I can't move anything and then uh, we got off at Gangnam station because the school I went to uh, is in Gangnam. I I had to be there a little earlier because I had to like get myself registered and uh, have a little interview about how much I already know just so they could put me in the right class. I didn't know anything. I got however this thing. I still have it. I'm not gonna throw it away. It's like this card that says my name and where I'm from, like the country, the flag. The school's called Lexus Korea, if people didn't know yet. It's a really good school. They're all very, very, very nice people. And I, my first class for that week, I had a, every week, not every week, but when you in foundation level, like I was, Every week you have like a test to see if you can go to the next level. And um, I remember sitting in class and I was like, I have no idea what's going on. I don't understand a thing. And luckily she spoke English and you could ask questions in English that first week at least. And then also like sometimes she would explain stuff in English really quick. Just so you would know a little bit of like what's going on and then I had the test <laughs> and I thought I did extremely bad and I didn't get to go to the next level but I passed I I went to the next level which is a level that takes four weeks but I was only in Korea for three weeks so I took that class for two weeks and that teacher I'm still in contact with my teachers, one more than the other, but they're so sweet. And then the second teacher I had was from the beginner level, and she, I, she's really the sweetest thing in the world. She's so nice. She still helps me with my Korean if I ask a question or whatever. I still talk to her, and I'm like, I want to go back <laughs> to Korea and see her again and all that stuff. Um, but... <laughs> I was so bad in that class. <laughs> it was. It's kind of funny now, but then I was so insecure about it because whenever she was talking and explaining stuff, and I was the only one just looking at her, like, no idea what you're saying. <laughs> and sometimes she noticed, and she came to me and she explained it in English what we were going to do because she, um, in that class with her, we did a lot of different games. <laughs> to which is really great actually because then you can understand everything just a little better and you have to act out the verbs and so because we were practicing with a lot of verbs and so we had to act those out which is actually really fun and <laughs> I don't know I was really bad in the class but still it was the most fun I've had I think and then at the end I cried because I had to leave because it's just it, I was so sad. The first day, before we had class, I was sitting there uh, in the lounge. And I was all alone. I was there, like, I don't know anyone. And there were this group of girls sitting there. And they were talking and having fun. And then uh, another girl that was... I was, like, right here. They were here and someone was here. And she walked up to them. She was like, can I sit with you guys? Do you mind? And they invited her in and they were like, oh no, come, it, it's fine. Like, oh no, that's fine. And I was like, mm, I'm still alone. And then after that, after like two seconds, I was like, fuck it, I'm going over there because I don't want to be alone for three weeks. I was like, 
can I sit with you guys? And they're like, yeah, come sit with us. Let's have fun. And then we were like getting to know each other and having fun. And we were like, yeah, let's go there and there after school. Um, and at first I was like, I'm not sure because I don't feel too good. But I know now that was because of jet lag. I didn't sleep and I hadn't had lunch yet. So I was like... I just have to eat something and then after I ate something I was all good and I was like okay I'm, I'll come with you guys and we went to the BT21 store <laughs> because we are BTS trash <laughs> like we said <laughs> to each other um, we had so much fun there we took so many pictures together I'm going to find our first picture together Hold on, it's really cute. And then we went there. I did buy BT21 stuff and I got this bag. I got Cookie on one side and Koya on the other side. And I love the bag. I still have it. I'm not gonna throw it away <laughs> because I don't want to. This is like one of our, our first pictures we took together. I don't know if you can see it. It was at the Line and Friends cafe and store. And upstairs they had like the BT21 stuff. We had a lot of fun. I did buy, like I said, I did buy stuff because that's why I have the bag. I got, I got all cookie stuff because Jungkook is my bias. And yeah, I love it. Jungkook is my bias, so I got all the cookie stuff. I got this folder, this cookie folder, um, it's now full of stuff for school, so I do use it actually, <laughs> I do use it. Um, this is my cookie pen, I use it so much that it's like empty, I can't use it anymore. <laughs> but this is a really, really good pen and like I really want to go back and just get so much more stuff. I got washi tape cookie washi tape which is really cute it's blue with cookie on it and it says lovely cookie and cookie and then I got a cookie keychain which is actually it is a keychain but I even put it on my keys because it's pretty big but I really do love it <laughs> and we also went to the cafe to drink something there I had the shuki one but I, it was good, don't, don't misunderstand me, but I would recommend the, the cookie drink, because that was so good, I tasted it, because, that, I don't know, it's just, it was really, really, really good, and then they have, and at that cafe they have all this different stuff of uh, BT21, like this really big doll with all their uh, signatures, so I took a photo with it, because why not? <laughs> we went uh, exploring in Gangnam, where the school was, because we wanted to know the the, the district, district a little more and the city a little more, like where to go, where you can do the stuff. So we went shopping there. We really went shopping there. I got a, a hand fan, let me get it. I got this one. It's pink. I love pink. Black is my favorite color, but pink is my second. So that's why all my stuff is pink. <laughs> and I'm always wearing black. Um, we went shopping there. That's all I got that day, but we just walked around. <sighs> got some food, obviously. The third day, I actually was off school because it was election day, if I remember it correctly. And I went with the host family to a park to play badminton. Because I've played badminton for eight years. From like my from when I was seven up until I was fifteen. And I hadn't played it in a really, really long time. But we went there. We first we went to get um Lunch. I was thinking. We went to get lunch firstly. 
we got I got a hamburger, a bulgogi burger with uh, fries and a large coke, which was so good. My God, it was so delicious. Then we went to the park. We had some. We had fun playing uh, badminton, and then we had this little competition. And like uh, the one that loses has to buy the other one ice cream. It was really close, but I won. I did it. And then I got an ice cream, which was really nice of them. And then we went to KFC and I got something to drink. And then we went home and I just... I, I think that's all I did. It was, it was a good day. It was really fun. I was very tired afterwards. And then... I remember that Friday... June 15 was firstly my grandma's birthday uh, so I FaceTimed my family that night like happy birthday <laughs> so because I couldn't be there I was like oh I'll FaceTime you and then um, <laughs> that was the day Blackpink released their album and I was like ecstatic because Blackpink is my favorite group and I was so Happy that I was there for a, a comeback, which was really good. And I found out they were going to have a concept uh, pop-up at Blackpink House. Like where they shot their reality show Blackpink House. And I was like, I really want to go there. I have to go there. I've already wanted to go. I already wanted to go to Hongdae because of the stories. And I wanted to see it for myself. And... I knew that that house was in Hongdae, so I was like, I want to see the front door and like the place where it is. And I was like, I really, really need to go. Can we go? And then I was talking to Martina and Isabella that we, all three of us, we wanted, really wanted to go there. So, um, and but that was, uh, that started on June 16th, that Saturday. So I was like, let's just go. And we had, you could get, Tickets from 12 p.m. So we went there, we were there at like 1 p.m. And we went there and we got a ticket for free, by the way, which was crazy. Uh, to be there at 5 p.m. So we were like, hmm, okay, that's great. What are we going to do now? So we were just walking around Hongdae. And then we went to a cat cafe. And and then eventually we, we were there, we stood in line and we were like... This is crazy, and we saw uh, these people from the YG staff, Blackpink staff, I don't know which one it was exactly, with a camera and a mic, and then they were like interviewing people. And we were the only foreigners in line, so we were like, I'm pretty sure they're coming, going to come to us to get, to ask something. Or something. I didn't know what I was really thinking, but I was like, mm, I'm pretty sure they're going to come to us, because we're the only foreigners. And then they came to us, and they were like, can you say something? To Blackpink for Blackpink TV. And we were like, what? <laughs> is Blackpink going to see this? Is the whole world going to see this? This is crazy. And Martina started talking. Like this whole story. I don't remember what she exactly said. And then at the ending, I was like, I, I was standing there very awkward laughing. And I was like, I have to say something. So I went fighting. And fighting. I, and I, I don't know why I did that. And then like... A couple weeks later, once the last episode of Blackpink TV came out, I was watching it and I saw myself say, fighting, they got all of Martina's part, rude by the way, and they put my little awkward thingy in the end in it. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm on Blackpink TV, this is crazy, <laughs> we're just so, so weird. I can't get over it. Let me find a picture because I know I'm in it. I took a screenshot of it because I was like, I have to, I have to. This is this is very necessary. I look really stupid. It's so funny. <laughs> For watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell notification to get notified every time I post new videos. And don't forget to share. Click the share button and share my video with your friends. And if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments and I will I will answer them. I don't mind. I will answer them. Or you can just uh, ask me on Twitter or on 
whatever. I don't know, just don't be scared to ask me more questions about it if you have. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon with another video. Bye!